Hi. Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope everyone is having a good day. I am just sitting here with my doggos. Well, look at this face. Look at that boy. He's so cute. And he likes the blanket over his head. So I have them piled up in blankets. And they're all cozy. And um, I had a great epiphany this week I want to share. I'm going to maybe do two shares this week. I do have a cancer update. Also... Um, there was another thing that was a major decision I made this week. So I'm probably going to share that, but what I really want to do is today is talk about a realization I had this week. Uh, it was, it's what I'm calling the influencer conundrum. So I know that I'm a person that I want to get, uh, my message out. I want, I want to share what, I've learned and I've watched other YouTubers. So one of the things I could, I wanted to do was to observe other bloggers and see kind of their formula for success. But um, this thing happened where all of them are saying, be who you are, but there are so many how to videos um, that I, I started to think that I should be more like them, right? A lot of YouTubers are high energy and they're having adventures and they're sharing all their social interactions. And it, it was interesting because I, in a sense, tried that a bit, but I realized it's not me. It's not who I am. Um, I don't do crazy things. I mean, sometimes I do, but they're on the spur of the moment and I don't think about pulling out a camera. Um, and I, I, I mean, I can be high energy, but I, but I'm not a person that's that bubbly person. That's just not who I am. And, um, I don't really share my social life. Cause like I said, I don't think about it. I don't think of snapping pictures and stuff. I'm just kind of in the moment doing what I'm doing. And so I was kind of struggling with that. And then I got cancer <laughs> and I decided to share my journey because being a person that doesn't have the triggers typical right? Not having those fight or flight responses, my process with cancer was very different than most. And, and I wanted to share that and I wanted to share inspiration and, and also um, some things maybe people don't know on what, what a person going through cancer might or might not want. I don't know what everyone going through it wants. I know what my experience was, but I felt like I was um, in the kind of clarity where I could share it. So here I was in this caught in this place of saying, okay, I'm not this person, but I do need to learn um, because there is advantage to huge advantage to learning from others. And I've made a lot of adjustments and, and done some things I didn't do before. And um, technically it's what I'm doing, right? <laughs> I'm sharing with you how I cured PTSD and I'm sharing with you how to move through cancer confidently and as I'm doing that, I'm um, <clears throat> thinking, okay, how do we share our formula for success without asking others to emulate it, without kind of saying, um, how do any of us gain value from others, uh, from, <clears throat> from the wisdom of others, let's say that. So how do any of us gain value from the wisdom of others without losing ourselves in it? without making it be something that we emulate, which is the traditional pattern of the primal brain. Um, so my, my real big question in the end, as I thought about it was, do I feel like I can influence the world by just being me? And of course you have to face, um, asking a question like that, I had to face a, you know, are there any insecurities that, um, am I enough that, uh, that, um, poser syndrome or whatever it's called. Um, so I realized I really didn't need to confront any of that. What I, what it, it was instead is that I realized I am an influencer. I've always been an influencer. I influence people every day, just being who I am. Um, I'm not an adventurer. I'm not some high energy motivator. I am the calm in the storm. I have learned how to shrink my amygdala so that when bad things happen in life, I don't experience them as bad. I don't suffer. I've, I've learned how to not suffer in life. And 
that's who I am. And I realized, um, so I realized I'm two things. So this, this was a journey of kind of uh, locking down, self-discovery of saying, who do you are? Who are you? What's your elevator pitch? Tell me about yourself. And I realized I'm two things. I am a person that has epiphanies all the time. The brain function I have that I um, teach others in my program is to live in an epiphanal state where you have just brilliant ideas all the time because you're harnessing the power of that subconscious supercomputer that we have. Um, the second thing um, I do is I ask really good questions. <laughs> so because I've um, cultivated that brain function, I have really good questions. And I just realized that's what I need to share. I don't need to go in and try and show you how my runs are. I mean, I may be inspired to speak to after a run, but that's not what I'm here to share. I'm here to share who I am, which is a person that has epiphanies and ask good questions. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to let other successful people guide me um, in practices, in uh the how and when to an extent, but mostly I'm going to just be myself. And if people want to participate in that, they can. And I think we're all influencers that way. We all have the people that we have that influence us and then those that we influence. And this influence should always be toward expanding more of ourselves, not <clears throat> emulate me, act like this, do this, follow these rules. It should be, is your soul opening? Are you expressing yourself? Are you opening? Are you are you being more of yourself? Not are you being more like me, but are you being more of you? And are you happy doing it? So that's what I'm doing. So today, um, what I'm, I'm going to do is shift gears and I'm going to start sharing that because I realize these successful people are not successful because of who they are but because they were willing to honestly share who they are. And so uh, I think I've been doing that all along, but I think I've been um, thinking I should do it different, which meant affected the way I was doing it. Anyway, so that is my epiphany, is that um, I am just going to be the person that has epiphanies <laughs> and that asks good questions. And so... That's the epiphany. The questions um, this week are, so here's my question that I would pose to you because I love to do that. I have, I have my realization and then I love to share. Okay, here's a question you can ask yourself. This is what I do in most of my sessions when I work with people is I just ask good questions. So my question today is, uh, what inspires you? What's your inspiration? What makes you happy? So what are you really good at? What, what makes you happy in your life? What do you do that brings happiness? And what inspires you? Just share that. Just talk to people about it. Just um, share a story of it. Don't worry about what anybody else needs or or how your inspiration affects others. Um, the quite just ask the question, what inspires me? What makes me happy? And are you willing to share that with the world? Because I think we want to hear it. I know I do. So this is going to be a work in progress, but um, I expect to be here every Sunday sharing updates. I will share a cancer update this week and um, a new epiphany and question next week. So I hope you enjoy it. I love your feedback. So let me know if there's anything you want to know, anything you want a good question for, or any way I can offer support. Go ahead and comment and um, participate because I love that. I love when we get to have a conversation together. So that's it for this Sunday. I hope everyone has a beautiful day and I'll look forward to connecting with you throughout the week.